a while. Oh, guess what? Yang got accepted into Beacon Academy. How cool is that? She always said she wanted to be a huntress, and she did it. I just can't believe it. But if I'm being honest, it is kind of annoying. Oh, of course I'm happy for my big sister, but I want to be a huntress too. I still have two more years at Signal. Oh, why can't I be more like her? Uh, anyways, when it comes to weapons, I'm as good as anyone. Better even. I'm going to work hard so I can fight to protect the people from Grimm, just like you did, Mom. to take my test, my dear father, sister. I hope you'll be true to your word. This is all utterly preposterous. As I recall, this test was your idea, father. Weiss is prepared to do it. <laughs> I am. Now, please release the Grim. Very well. But if I decide it's impossible, you will fail. That will be the end of this foolishness. I'm not going to fail.
scared, are you? Do you think I scare easily? Hardly. I'm aware of your bravery. That's the Schneed Dust Company's train. Just think about how much dust is on board. the 
Hatch Island. They've got the best music. Home in the cafes. And the weapons. I don't know how I'm going to see it all. Uh, and I still have to get a gift for Yang, too. Uh, the dust shop's still open.
Did you not stop to think about how your actions put others in harm's way? And on top of that, <laughs> was your aura even strong enough to stop all of the attacks? Well, uh, no. <sighs> yeah. Oh, sir, Professor Osman. Just stopping by for a quick visit. Good evening, Ty. Professor? has been sent to Beacon, Miss Lee. Thank you, Klein. I'd better go. Would you wait just a little bit longer? Looks like Winter was too busy to come. And of course, Father and Whitley couldn't be bothered to see me off. But I'm really happy that you came to say goodbye to me, Klein. Thank you so much for everything. Please do take care of yourself, Miss Lee. I'm certain you will make a fine huntress. Remember who you are and carry on the legacy of Master Nicholas. I believe in you. Things that require a smaller, 
more honest soul. That's a nice offer. 
I will consider it. I'm sure we would both be at the top of the class. Hey together. there. It's me, Sean Ark. I heard you say I was your type. Isn't that right? Um, I hear we're teaming up in the forest. And I was thinking you and me would make a good one. I believe each team has four students. Oh, you don't say. Play your cards right and you could both be on the winning team. Huh. Okay, hold on a second. Do we even know who you're talking to? Hmm? Top of her class at Sanctum? She won the Mistral Regionals four years in a row. Come on, pure amigos. Yeah, I don't know who that is. She's on the front of every Pumpkin Pete's Marshmallow Flakes box. Wow, that's awesome. But to be honest, I never really liked that cereal. <gasps> I actually don't either. It is not very healthy. Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense. It's the sugar, huh? <laughs> Back off! <laughs> Well, 
Only a child feels the need to show off their abilities. Hey, wait! Uh, now that I think of it, you look like a child. Are you sure you're old enough to enroll? Well, not exactly. I skipped ahead. You skipped ahead? So you really are a child then. Best way out. 
you at all. You're so happy about being team leader, but you didn't do anything to earn it. Can we please just try to work together as a team and maybe... Not a team led by you. Oh, wait, hold on a second! Huh? <gasps> Let Ruby handle this. If she doesn't do it by herself, then it's going to keep happening. I studied and trained my whole life for this. This isn't what I deserve. Please, Weiss. Where are you? I don't think I'm fit to be a leader either. At this rate, they're going to tell me I don't even belong at Beacon. That remains to be seen. Consider your appointment to be a mistake, Miss Rose. That's not what Weiss thinks at all. She says I haven't worked for anything. Nobody is going to follow a leader who doesn't try their absolute best. Take some time and consider how you are carrying out this responsibility. So making you team leader would solve everything, is that it? With respect, your exceptional skill on the battlefield is matched only by your poor attitude. What? How dare you? That's my point. You've probably spent your whole life getting exactly what you wanted. But that's... not true. You're wrong! So instead of throwing temper tantrums, try to become the best person you can be. When you focus on that, you'll realize it doesn't matter who the leader is. <laughs>
It's here. We need to start now. My name is Shion Zion. I am a nightmare hunter. What's a nightmare? A type of grim that possesses humans and grows by draining their aura. The victim is trapped in their dreams, and their body becomes a breeding ground. So we just have to kill this grim? Yes, inside his dream. Inside his dream? A task for his closest friends. If a stranger tries, his heart will reject them. Are any of you willing to enter his dream and fight the Grim? Absolutely. We will go. Nothing else. 
If you ask me, it's the White Fang up to their old tricks. Now beat it. Hmm, the White Fang again. Talk about an awful bunch of no-good degenerates. That's not true. They're just misguided. Who are trying to wipe humanity off the face of the planet, Blake. But not all of them. Still, that doesn't explain why they would rob a dust shop. Well, Blake's got a point. The police never caught the guy I ran into before. Stop that bonus! Huh? Without it. 
care about what happened to Blake at all, do you? I bet you're only pretending to be nice to Ruby, too. All that stuff about wanting a bunk bed? Huh? Uh... Hey, why aren't you saying anything? Because I don't know what to say, all right? Uh... I wasn't made leader. I didn't get put on Pyrrha's team. One of my teammates is a Faunus. Nothing is turning out how I imagined it. Not how I imagined it at all. Not at all. Crying? <laughs> oh, no. Give me a break. You don't have to help me. I mean, I'm already here. And as you've seen, I'm great at hiding.
she on here? It's Ruby. I found a huge city in here. Did you pass through the gate? Uh, I think so. Uh, there was a gate, and I uh, just kind of jumped over it. Keep leaving breadcrumbs, and be sure to proceed carefully. Our job will be much more difficult if you get caught. Got it. And Ruby, please be sparing with the coins. Each one of them uses up some of my aura. If you run out, I won't be able to help. I understand. Oh, uh, and my clothes and weapon are different here. Why is that? Your appearance is how Weiss views you, which means there's another you there. There's another me in here? It's not there for now. When you replace someone in the dream, it's harder for the nightmare to spot you. Someone like me, who isn't as close to Weiss, wouldn't have a counterpart. I'd be recognized right away. So, Weiss feels like we're close. I think I understand, Professor. I better keep moving. How's it look? She's deeper in the dream than I originally thought. This could prove to be difficult. <sighs> what if we fought the nightmare together, like we all did in John's dream? It isn't the right time yet. The nightmare has burrowed deep into Weiss's heart and hidden itself there. We have to find it in the dream first. I can't believe I didn't see it. I've been thinking only about myself. <sighs> I'm the only one who should be thinking about being a better teammate. Don't blame yourselves. Focus on how to fight a dangerous enemy like the Nightmare. Now Weiss needs her most loyal friends to go in there and help her escape. Blake, Yang, if we entered the dream, it would reject us. You two are the ones that Weiss trusts. You should be ready to fight. Yeah. no matter what. It's not too late to help. Right? Hmm. I can use just one more. I have a bunch left. Up to the train tracks from before, please. Dust and brought peace to Africa. 
cute decoy. Someone's wandering around without permission. Go and find them and bring them to me. I hope, I hope, making dust is fun, you know. It's a noble job, makes you bounce and bob. Come down to see our dust factory. Your hard work will bring dust and peace to the world. You are the true pride of the SBC. This is the most boring job ever. They all seem like slaves. behavior. 
They're worthy of a sneak. The last thing we want in our empire is more dummies, sister. Get out of here! <laughs>
from the dream? She escaped, sister. Klein. Yes, indeed, my esteemed mistress was. Grumpy Klein at your service. Ruby has escaped. Mobilize all of your forces and search for her at once. As you command, Weiss. If you are truly a daughter to the Schnee family, you must faithfully carry out your duties, Weiss. <laughs>
only one of my ears is out. Is this the way that Weiss imagines me? Oh, wow, that's so cute. It looks great on you, Blake. Um, thanks. What's with the motorcycle? I don't know. It, it was just here with me. I guess Weiss knows my tastes. Oh, but look at what she did to Crescent Rose. See? It shoots out of the wrong end. I mean, this is cool too, I guess. But if I mess up, I might shoot someone behind me. What about you two? All good here. Let me see. It seems a little bit different. She sings to 
the city. It will be 
eyes to search the perimeter structures. We do not know yet where the girl in black is hiding. Really 
It does seem like the inside of her heart. So, where should we go? I wonder if we can use this. Don't you understand? 
can't you just understand that? I'm sorry, Weiss. I really don't understand. I have no idea what matters most to you. But it just can't be the nightmare in there, right? I'm begging you, please wake up! And you've also disappointed me, Yang. Huh? You're the one who made her like this. Coddling her, making her weak. It was your selfish behavior that prevented Ruby from being an actual leader. Okay, I'm starting to get really ticked off. You're the one who grew up spoiled and small. Yang, stop it. You need to calm down. You're irritating me. I'll just have to walk away, all three of you. Forever. Yourself. Uh, Shouldn't you be with the rest of your team? You are being way too soft on Ruby. My older sister was always much more strict. <sighs> Just be quiet. I knew that already. What do you already know? Bo, where'd you come from? Salutations. It is nice to see you, older sister of Ruby. My name is Penny. Oh, yeah. Nice to see you. Were you speaking to yourself just now? Or perhaps to someone that is beyond my perception? Talking to myself. Or someone from a dream? And she's really stubborn. Huh. Then perhaps all you need is maintenance. What? So there were dream versions of each of us in there? Oh, what was I like? Oh, uh... Well, just 
like me, all four of you were imprisoned and locked up inside the dream. But why? We didn't do anything to Weiss to deserve something like that. You know, it might not be because we did anything bad to her. Huh? He's right. When something's important, don't you want to keep it safe? Because you're scared you're going to lose it. Right. She could be trying to protect all of her friends from the nightmare. Oh. Well, the least you can do is go in and let me out. Then we can all fight together. That is not the point, Nora. We can fight together. Ah, oh, jeez. I sure wish I could go with you. I can recover pretty quick. Maybe you can. Huh? I have learned that dreams are maintenance, used to process excess information. I, too, make an effort to dream, and have invented and programmed many different scenarios for it. I, uh, don't really understand. You can perform maintenance on yourself by using many different kinds of dreams. You could give it a try, older sister of my friend Ruby. It's Yang. And I don't really think it works that way. Hmm. But maybe you are right, though. Huh? Huh. So inside the dream, your friend keeps you completely locked away? Yeah. The same way that humans keep the faunus at a distance. But in a way, that kind of shows how much she's actually thinking about you. You think she's thinking about me? If she's pushing you away in the dream, but you keep coming back, that's gotta be it. I get the feeling that you just being there is powerful enough to change her. <laughs> so you think I could change twice? Can I? I'm just stating the obvious. You already got the faunus hating snob to accept you. So it seems like you already changed your mind once before. The founding ideals of the White Fang were like that at first. Huh? We wanted to change the world. We wanted them to accept us. But then, they rejected us. We lost hope, leaving only violence. But I'm not gonna lose hope. Even if I'm rejected, I'm going to keep on trying to fix this world. Thank you, son. <laughs> Isn't that what friends are supposed to be able to do for each other? Believing that you can both change for the better? Just stick with it. And then, maybe Negative Weiss will forget all about protecting the nightmare inside of her mind. Once we get her out of the way, all of us can totally take that grin down together. Certainly. When we went in, it didn't feel like just the nightmare was attacking us. Parts of Jean's dream were too. There is no way that grim is that strong. It didn't seem to be back when the three of us fought it. Oh, really? You're working up a plan with Team Juniper? Oh, yeah! Welcome back, Yang! Guess what? I totally came up with something. Yeah? Well, I've got a plan, too. Wanna hear? Oh, I bet mine's better. Once Blake gets here, I'll... Huh? Huh? I'm sorry I'm late. Ah, oh, we're just getting started. So, what'd you come up with? It's more like, I know what I need to be doing now. It's time for a team meeting! What do you think about this new plan? Hmm. First, regarding Yang's idea, it is indeed possible to change what happens in a dream. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, though, that's only if the dreamer sees it as a positive change. If Weiss sees it as a negative change, she'll resist it. I think I understand now. How to help her change. I was the same way. I knew that I wanted to be different, but I didn't understand how to make it happen. We need to speak to Weiss's heart and let her know that it'll be okay to change. I know we can show her that we're in there trying to help her and that we actually want to do the best thing for her. I didn't realize it at first, that we're not the only ones struggling with this. Even Weiss is fighting hard against the grim in her heart. Very good then. So you know, regarding Ruby's idea, it actually does have precedent, and it has produced positive results. 
It's worked before. So having experience with the nightmare could prove useful. Indeed. John's heart still remembers being possessed by a nightmare. So other nightmares will likely mistake him for a host. And should ignore him. That's useful. Ah, oh, so he's not worth noticing. That isn't it, Nora. Let's just say he has something of an immunity. But the closer he gets to the nightmare, the more he'll begin to react to it. Uh, what sort of reaction? The most common symptoms are intense itching and trouble breathing. It's like an allergy. I'm not so sure about this. Fortunately, that means he should be able to move quite freely and without interference. What? That's great! We could really use your help in there, Jean. But if the nightmare rejects him too hard, he could die from shock inside the dream. Please be careful. Ugh, dying in your sleep. Please don't die in there, John. Ugh, I have to do this for Weiss. Can I really do this? I know you can do it, John. Believe in yourself and your aura. I'll try my best. You'll have to search for the key to her heart. Somewhere in the dream, there should be an item the same as the one you found before. Right, Professor. I really don't want to frighten you. But if you fail to rescue her before my aura can recover again, it is likely that Weiss will lose her life. Do you understand? We're not going to fail again. We've got to wake Weiss up so we can tell her how much of a pain it was to save her. Right? Yeah. Right now, I just want to talk to Weiss again. I want to work everything out. Everyone, it's time to go back inside. Dear ones. The gate 
is an opening. Isn't that a bad thing? Come on, boys, open up! This responsibility falls on you. Mistress, the train will smash into the gate at this speed.
Queen has returned to the city, nothing will be changed. And I will make sure that Blake is forced to understand. Everything that's happening is fine, right? 
them in, I'll use a coin to make a door. Alright, we'll create a distraction. Don't be so reckless. Come on, I can do it. Just trust me, okay? You don't always have to treat me like a child. Uh, let's believe in our leader. It's time for you to go back to 
to where you belong. That's not happening. It's time for you to wake up, Ice Queen!
powers to make them disappear. She said she banished them, so maybe they're outside the city? I'll go and look for them. Thank you. I'm going back. To beat that Grim. You're going to go alone? Why not? It's just... we need a new plan. <laughs> okay, what if... we tried using a coin? Hmm.
Objects have calmed down, Mistress Weiss. Now that order has been restored to the Empire, those worthy of the Schneen name may finally find the true sleep.
I wonder if Ruby fell asleep. And what about Yang and Blake? Did the others fall asleep too? Oh, don't go sightseeing, please. It's really embarrassing. I can't reach Ruby or Jean. This is kind of like our shed back home, but even more creepy. Just filled with junk that never gets cleaned up. Oh, I, I didn't mean to include you in that. I just meant this place. I get the same feeling here. Maybe this is where things go that don't belong anywhere else. <gasps> the White Fang. Well, even if that used to be true, 
that isn't how you feel anymore, right? Let's just get this relic back to the others. And then get rid of that grim. I'll just use a coin and... If we do that, Negative Weiss will just get in our way again. We're no match for her powers here. We don't actually know that. I'm sure Ruby is doing her best to get it all figured out. So let's just hurry and... I'm sure she understands that if we don't start thinking about a better plan, we don't stand a chance at all. We've already done enough thinking. What else can we even do? Sit around and hope to become allergic to the Grim so we can sneak around like Sean? That is not my style. I'm telling you, brute force isn't going to work. Oh. I think that's it. Huh?
This DC train is packed full of dust. We've got all the ammo we need.
If we did use the same nightmare that also possessed Sean, then yes, this strategy may work. But no, there's a chance neither of you will survive. I can't guarantee your success. You see? I told you it's dangerous. You know what we're dealing with. Do we have many other options? Unfortunately, we don't. Alright. Will you help us do it?
render judgment, punishment will be far more than exile. <gasps> judgment and exile? <sighs> when is your kind ever judged Bonus fairly? Thank <laughs> you. 
What is this place? Oh, hey! Grandpa Nicholas! Everyone says our house looks like a castle! They say Grandpa Nicholas built a Schnee family castle. <laughs> well, that might be going just a little too far. Huh? But why? People like you, and you act like a king, and you live in a big house. Hmm. My joy in life has always come from protecting and serving others. I've never really wanted to become a king. Weiss, my dearest little friend, a day may come where you also want to leave this castle behind you. Like when you went on adventures to find dust for everyone, Grandfather? Yes, quite. Until then, the Schnee family will be like a castle protecting you. Eventually, however, you yourself will become a castle that protects others. And that should make the Schnee family and yourself quite proud indeed. Hmm. Should I build a castle just like you did, Grandfather? <laughs> That's right. Inside your heart, build the biggest and most noble castle you can. Build it together with the friends you will one day meet.
that's left is for them to free Blake, too. Sometimes, battle helps to awaken one's true abilities. Very well done, Ruby Rose. Ruby, let's do this together. 
kidding yourself? It's not me. It's who I used to be. Alright, here goes. You ready? Time to finish this. Let's go, everyone. You ready when you are. Encountered the nightmare grim. 
my semblance changed in unexpected ways. It developed the power to defeat the creature that possesses people's hearts. Well, your semblance actually changed? Correct. I also learned that nightmares are attracted to individuals who have strong auras but sensitive personalities. In a way, it's a sign that those people have exceptional talent. You hear that? You're exceptional. Would you please stop rubbing it in and pouring salt on the wound? Eventually, as you grow, your semblances will develop in conjunction with your auras, illuminating your paths as huntsmen and huntresses. Well, that's kind of weird, considering our leader doesn't even have a semblance yet. Aura. John is going to be fine. Hmm. Team Ruby. Team Juniper. You are both exceptional teams. I look forward to seeing all of you grow. Thank you so much, Professor. We'll work hard to become great huntresses and use everything you taught us to help others. Good. I have high hopes. It looks like this will be an interesting year, Professor Osvin. Can we assume there are no other nightmares in this area? Yes. My job here is finished. I hope you can find happiness and good fortune, Xion Zaiden. Hmm. Ruby and Blake, I'd like to speak with each of you in my office, huh? if you wouldn't mind. did an outstanding job defeating those nightmares. Are you still worried you don't deserve to be the leader? To tell you the truth, I'm still not so sure. But I've decided to work with my teammates and try my very best. <laughs> I want to ask, when you defeated the Nightmare Grim, did it seem strange? Oh, strange? What do you mean? What I mean is, did it have a power unlike an aura or semblance? I mean, I was caught up in the fight, so I'm not sure that I noticed. I only know that I was able to succeed because my friends were fighting alongside me. Now I finally understand how powerful friendship can really be. Hmm. You're going to encounter things in life that may very well awaken a power sleeping inside you. I look forward to you continuing your studies and becoming an outstanding huntress. He waited for me? We wanted to know what he said. Well, uh, let's see. We talked about how having friends at your side makes you much stronger in a fight. He told me to keep studying and to work hard. So he was basically complimenting you. Wait, then why did he want to talk to Blake as well? I'll know once I speak with the professor. Why don't you all go head into town? You don't have to wait here for me. Okay, then we can invite Team Juniper to meet at the cafe. Hmm. Hmm. First, you thwarted an attempted robbery at the shipyard. Then you demonstrated both great initiative and power by defeating the nightmares. I believe you have incredible potential. I only did what I had to do, Professor. In order to enroll in my academy, students must pass a rigorous exam. Most applicants spend years preparing at combat training schools. However, there's no record of you attending one. Yet somehow, you pass the entrance exam with flying colors. In the world that I grew up in, every single day was a battle. I had to learn to fight if I wanted to survive. I admire your fortitude. We have students from all walks of life. The rich, the less fortunate, the human, and the faunus. Why are you hiding who you really are, Blake? You do know we have a number of Faunus students here. And exchange students 
are never questioned about being faunus or not. Even with your policy of acceptance and equality, people will still ostracize the faunus. That's true, but there are still people here working hard every day to bridge that divide. I would like to ask you to please help us. With all due respect, it's not that easy at all. Right now, I want people to see me for me, not for the monster that they think I am. I understand. I have no intention of compelling you. But tell me, who are you really? I'm sorry. I don't know what you mean. How did you know the White Fang would be at the shipyard? I don't know. It was a coincidence. So you just happened to come across the crisis in time to stop the robbery. And you didn't know they were the White Fang until it was all over? Yes, just as I explained after the incident. I am the headmaster as well as a huntsman. And I'll do whatever it takes to protect the peace. Blake. Are you sure there's nothing else you'd like to tell me? I'm sure. Very well. Thank you for your time. You should return to your friends now. If you ever need to talk, please do not hesitate to ask me. Professor Ospin must have caught on to the fact that you have a previous connection to the White Fang. The professor might be open-minded, but I doubt the rest of the Academy would understand. If they discover I used to be with the White Fang, I'll likely get expelled. Your teammates would never let that happen to you. But you have to promise us that you're not planning to return to the White Fang after you graduate. Uh, you got that? No way. I would never do that. You won't take the knowledge and power that you've learned and use it to help them do even more harm? I won't. I have the same goal here as the professor does. I'll do anything to protect peace. Me too. I won't turn a blind eye to the company's crimes anymore. I might be inexperienced, naive, and a little powerless. But eventually, I will make this world into a better place. When it's time, I hope that you and I can change the world together. You've really changed, haven't you? At the very least, I would prefer not to have to fight you ever again. Do you remember that? I remember enough. Not that I want to, though. Oh, just thinking about it is so embarrassing. <laughs> Please forget it ever happened. <laughs> when you came to Beacon, I remember how anxious you were at first. What? Me? I'm gonna stand out. Why did I go here when I don't even know anybody? Isn't that what you said? Crescent Rose will be my only friend. And so on. What did you expect? I'm younger than everyone else here. You were mean, saying it'd be the worst thing ever to end up on my team. Come on now. I wasn't trying to be mean. And didn't we end up on the same team anyway? <sighs> when we were in Weiss's dream, I kicked some serious butt when you weren't around. On top of that, I'm going to make a ton of friends. Ow! I'm happy for you, Ruby. I get it. You don't really think I can do it. Fine then. I'm going to learn to do everything all by myself. Yo! Huh? It's half a team Ruby. Oh, hey, son. Hey there. So, just the two of you today? We're waiting for some folks. Are you always by yourself? No friends? Ah, uh, they should get here soon. You know, it'd be great for you guys to meet each other. What do you think? Uh, <laughs> I get to make even more friends! <sighs> and are these friends of yours decent? You two finally made it! What perfect timing! Why don't you sit down and join us for a little while? Wait, are you?
are you actually okay with sitting next to a Faunus guy? Of course. When have I ever said something to the contrary? So, you understand. You mustn't tell anyone that Blake is a Faunus. Or that she had worked with the White Fang. Which, of course, she doesn't anymore. Fine with me. But is it really that big of a deal to people? Please, son. All I want is to start a new life the right way. In exchange for keeping quiet, we won't hand you over to the police for being a stowaway. In exchange? Look, if Blake asks me, then of course I'm not going to say anything. I won't even tell my friends. What friends? Son's team. He'll introduce us when they get here. I really hope you guys get along. It's probably weird to say, but they're all total hotties. You're going to love them. Ooh, how exciting. Uh, I have my doubts. Speaking of teams, where's Team Juniper? I invited them. They couldn't make it thanks to Jean's training. He's really going at it. Pyrrha certainly has some strange taste in men. If she puts up with all of that, but she could have teamed up with someone else instead. You really would rather have been on a team with Pyrrha? That's not what... Or maybe we could train her for someone on Team Juniper. I didn't mean that. It's fine. I'm going to do everything that I can to make this a great team. I won't let you back on the team even if you beg me twice. And since when did I even try to quit the team in the first place? Ultra super duper fun to play with it. Hey, I never said you could 